right, so got a new video we're going to put out today. Um, Go ahead and blow up my little... So Trimble Earthworks version 2.7. I'm going to, I think I'm going to try this out on this first video. See how it goes. You know, you guys let me know if you like it or not. What we're going to do is we're going to break down this release. We're going to go over all the new features, all the new supported items, all the cool new goodies that they threw in there for us on this one. Uh, probably going to put out a SiteWorks uh, video on version 1.43. It just dropped in the last few days. Bunch of cool new stuff in there. So uh, I try to get around to everybody I know, talk to them about the new cool things uh, in, in Earthworks with these releases. Kind of hard to get out, so, you know, you guys take a look at this video inspired by, you know, a couple other kind of release patch note videos I've seen in the past for various things, so, uh, yeah, we'll dive right into it. So here we go, let's bring up the notes. So yeah, Trimble Earthworks platform version 2.7. So I'll, I'll go through it all. Um, not sure how much of this I'm supposed to put out there, but, you know, you guys, you guys come to us for this stuff. It's all really cool. So, yeah, we'll go through it. So, first thing we get is the big platform updates. So, when we see a platform update, this is an item that applies across Earthworks. So, you'll see this in your excavators, your bulldozers, motor graders, skid steers, you know, grader blades, box blades, uh, soil compactors now. I have not had the chance to do a soil compactor, but, you know, we can do them. Um, so yeah, for, first things first, um, I do have my simulator, my version 2.7 simulator downloaded. Um, got it running in the background here. Got a job pulled up that I've got. VCL is loaded up, so we're getting, you know, the full features of everything. So first thing, display surface in the work screen. So let me let me zoom in a little bit. Right here. So we can, if you, everybody's probably familiar with the old system, GCS 900, getting phased out, uh, mass mounted on the blade, GPS mounted on the blade. There was no surface. You notice in Earthworks, they've added the tan looking shaded background for the design surface. So your model uh, makes it easier to see where the limits of your model are at. They finally added where we can disable that surface. So let me swipe to my view. So yeah, I can, you know, my overlays button, I can turn this off. So my surface plan in 3D view, boom, turn it off, hit apply. It's gone. It still shows up in my cross section and my profile view. But yeah, if I change, you know, change view over to plan view, you know, it is, it is gone. So now we're back to, you know, just seeing our line work um so yeah pretty cool you know just basic if you got you know i know some guys that they they don't want to see that tan surface they they just want you know want it to look like gcs did oh uh, yeah so we'll you know read through a couple of this with dark mode light mode for more in cab versatility to account for local design standards not sure what that means uh basically just a different way for you to view the big one that gets me all excited display the design line preview it's this dotted line right here it matches the vertical guidance point. So it allows you to better visualize how cut fills are getting calculated, uh, how overcut protection is going to work. Let me show it to you. I've already got it toggled on. But once again, in our overlays, press and hold, design line preview. Design line preview. I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to swipe this over so that I've got my cross-section and profile view. I actually made an entire video on this. Watch this dotted line as I ride through here. Look at what it does when I hit, you know, here's my EP. Here's my back of curb. Notice when I'm between the two, you know, my design line, it, it wants, you know, on the right, the distance from the right tip of my blade to the dotted line is one foot roughly. So it's when I put it in autos, this is how my blade is going to react, you know, as I come back over to road grade. Look at there, look at that dotted line as it goes, you know up down you know and as i come across to my center line let's let's swipe it back my red line right here my center line as i come back across to it let me zoom back in in my cross section here touch screen it's great when it works 
and it doesn't. There we go. Yeah, so let me let me swing over this center line. See, there if as I cross the crown, you can really see. Let me line up. This is a great feature. I love it. It really shows you. Hard to see this crown in the cross section view here because it's so tight. It's probably a two percent. But yeah, as I go back and forth over this center line, look at how, you know, there's my dotted line. It's showing me, it's visualizing how the surf, how the blade is going to cut to gray. Turn my autos on. It's just, it's, a, it's an indicator for how I'm going to cut. Because that's the, the design line preview. Uh, Third-party serial radio. We've been able to do this for a while probably seen um, you know in the past if you wanted to connect to a 900 megahertz topcon base station um, we we had to add external radios to the base station to uh, repeat the signal out to the machine we can now use third-party radios Satel and Tuacom uh, to communicate with other base stations what they've added here is the ability to go into your correction source and select that, making it easier just to, you know, if you, you know, I've got some guys who run a Trimble radio and the Satel radio. Just all depends. Uh, excavator updates. Apparently, uh, next gen excavators support indicate tilt rotator configurations. Sure. More tilt rotators on your next gen cat excavators. Uh, hydraulic excavator performance improvements goes without saying always improving things uh, dozer updates uh, so on any of the next gen dozers whether it's from the factory or aftermarket installed uh, the default out of the factory is latch to grade you got latch to grade and snap to grade snap to grade when you get within you know nine tenths or whatever your system set to Default, you know, the system, when you put it in autos, it snaps down to grade. So, yeah, so, so latch to grade um, is it requires one part of the blade to touch grade, left or right. And once one part of the blade touches zero, the whole blade goes to grade. What they've updated is in reverse... Um, let me read. Updated in version 2.7 when the machine is in reverse gear, latch from above logic is always used. That basically means you can lift the blade up any, any way above zero, and it's not going to snap back down to grade until you start pushing forward again and hit zero. Small change, um, but a little annoying when guys are running in latch to grade and they back up and their blade keeps slamming into the ground. Uh, compact machine updates. Let's see, uh, version 2, 2.1, I believe, is when compact machines got added. Uh, GCS has supported a bunch of compact machine attachments for a while. Now, Earthworks, I think most things are supported. Let's see, they uh, added dual GNSS support for the ATI box blade, level best. Uh, didn't even realize dual GPS was not used. You know, We've had single. A lot of guys running UTS on these. But yeah, so soil compactor. Very new to this. Uh, so it looks like they have added a new option for uh, factory sensors from Dynapack. So it just means it integrates uh, with the factory sensors from Dynapack. So it looks like there's some CMV, compaction monitoring value uh, measurement. Uh, some cool stuff there. Uh, and then simulator update, you already see what I'm using. Uh, Earthworks Assistant application, I don't have it. That's They store all of the guides and everything. In the Earthworks Assistant, uh, you can, you know, I've got um, ways for you guys to get that now. If you download the SciTech South support app, all of our field reference guides are there. Um, you can get those from us. You can reach out to me directly. I can get those to you. But yeah, that, that's that's pretty much uh, it for the update. Not a huge update. Some pretty cool things. 
no, ba- big fan of the design line preview. I think everybody should have that on their dozer. You know, I'm getting around to updating my guys, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Be on the lookout for the SiteWorks version of this video. Let me know if you guys, uh, you know, like this. I can keep doing it as updates come out. I think it's pretty cool to push this out there for everybody to see. So, yeah, thanks. Uh, See you next time.